from Why Expect the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I want to show you some of the books I picked up from my flea market finds over the weekend. I had a blast. Ended up hanging out with my buddy Rayman for a little bit. If you want to see what books I ended up getting in this small stack, stay tuned for the intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. Alright, so like I said, ended up going to the flea market this past weekend, the Grafton Flea Market. For you uh, collectors, YouTubers near me, um, been there many times. Always have a blast. Always find some cool vendors with some comics. Ended up going there shortly after 6 a.m. Usually when they start up at 6 a.m. They already have some vendors already up and going. Ended up uh, seeing my buddy Rayman there. And he already had a little stack of books there. Uh, so I was like, wow, he, he got here right at, right at when it started. He was already found a small little stack. He was like, oh, we're going to check out this little vendor here. This lady has some cool books. I think you'll uh, like what she has. Did some walking and, um, you know, browsed through some of the vendors. Didn't really find much. And then I went to her, her little spot and she had some great comic books. Um, they were all a buck a piece. So I spent a little bit of time there. Got a few books. Went to other vendors and then came back. Ended up meeting up with... Uh, Los's brother, I hadn't seen him in a while, probably since last, probably early in the year. Um, he goes by Be Unbrokeable on IG, so check out his channel as well on YouTube. Uh, so that was pretty cool. He was going there with his son, checking out some stuff as well. Uh, I'm not sure if he ended up finding anything, but uh, like I said, ended up going to this one lady and got all my books there. The rest of the books I found wasn't really worth it for me. So um, these are all dollar books. And um, in no particular order, I'm going to show you what I have. So, uh, Excalibur, issue number one. This is the first solo series of Excalibur and the first appearance of Widget. Like I said, these are all $1 books. Next book, I had to pick this up. Uh, nothing key about it, but it was just a funny cover. Um, I do have a little soft spot for Alf. I grew up watching the show. So uh, when I saw this for a buck, this was a no-brainer. This was Super Size Annual Alf issue number one. Um, forget when this uh, when this came out. This is probably like late '80s, if I'm not mistaken. It is, um, you know, square bound, and it's in fairly good condition for the uh, for the considering it's a square bound. And you can see, I, it was really cool because it's a Mount Rushmore uh, cover. And you can see uh, Alf there on the, uh, it added to Mount Rushmore, which I thought was pretty funny. So uh, it always reminds me of like, if you could have your four favorite characters, who would they be on your Mount Rushmore? So uh, put that in the comments down below. I'd like to hear what you guys think about that. Um, next book, this was pretty cool. I saw actually... An additional vendor who had this book um, in their like little bag of comics and I think he was asking probably a few bucks but the, the book was beat up it was really beat up so when I saw this there at her um, at her vendor like her little area I was like I gotta pick this up and uh, this is amazing spider-man issue number 344 and this book has a little bit of heat just because of the uh, upcoming venom carnage movie and uh, if you're not familiar with this book, it's actually a nice cover too. This is the uh, first appearance of Cardiac, which is right here. And uh, it's also the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy, which later becomes Carnage. So uh, for a dollar, I couldn't take that. Uh, I couldn't pass that up. Uh, next book, I was like, I was surprised to see those uh, these books here. She did have a decent amount of uh, Dark Horse Presents there. And um, 
And when I saw this, I had to pick this up because I've, I've been looking for this book for oh, a little bit in a while. I just didn't want to overpay for it. But um, this is Dark Horse Presents, issue number 24. And I believe this is the origin of the Xenomorphs, or origin of the aliens. So it's pretty cool for a dollar. Um, and when I saw this there as well, I, I was honestly pretty surprised. And um, this is also by Dark Horse Comics, and this is Aliens, issue number one. And I want to open this up because if you're not sure, I was going to get the book either way because it was only a dollar. But there's a way to distinguish if it's a first print or not. And uh, the first print will have the green back cover and if you open up to the front page so this is if you're ever looking in the wild if you want to distinguish from the first print or not here where it says aliens number one may of 1988 published by monthly it won't say any other if it's an additional second printing third printing fourth printing it won't say that it'll be just as is. So this is how you know it's a first print, which like I said, I was shocked. I didn't even know this was a first print until I got home and looked at the book because it was just in the sleeve. But uh, I had a, you know, when I opened it up, I was like, wow, it really is a first print. This book is extremely difficult to find in first printing and in good condition in first printing. So, um, like I said, I was going to pick up the book regardless because it was only a dollar. But for it to be a first printing on top of that, that was a huge score. And uh, they had a few of the other uh, Aliens books too from uh, some of the later runs. But um, I was just happy to get this book, you know. So this might be a book I just send off for, uh, for grading just because, like I said, it's, I have nothing into it, you know. And then the last book that I got there, which I was, you know, I was kind of bummed out. I should have picked up more of the issues there because she had quite the extensive run on this series. I was just more because I saw the issue one there. And uh, this is Akira, issue number one. And if you have not read this, this is a pretty good read. Um... This, this is like takes place obviously if you see the the sorry it takes place in Tokyo uh, near future World War three you know this is kind of like apocalyptic but uh, right up my alley I love reading stories like that but uh, she also had a ton of Akira books and I was like ah oh, man I wanted to pick up the one issue and then come back later because I only had my store folio I didn't want to carry a lot of books on me. And then when I came back, again, uh, because she said she had a ton more books to put out, I just didn't have the space. By the time I came back the second time, there was another guy there who had picked up the rest of the Akira books. And she had a lot of, like, the late issues, too, like the super scarce issues, like in the 30s. So uh, my loss, that person's gain, and he was there when I was there, too, and I certainly had a big box of them. So uh, congrats to that guy. But uh, I was happy to get this number one. Either way, you know, it was a great score for a dollar. And uh, that's it. And like I said, uh, I had a good time with Rayman. Um, interested to see his books too when he posts a video, if he does. And uh, if you like that, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.